So when you do a watercolour, you really do need to plan it because you don't want to leave it to chance. It's better to make your mistakes on here than on your final piece. So I'm just going to talk very briefly about what I do and I've been painting a long time but I still do this process. I call it the P process because it's basically planning, experimenting and applying. Um, you'll see that I put all my colours at the top so I look at my painting. So say for example I was going to do something like this. I think about that, I think about whether I want to change the colours, how I was going to do it and then I'd work out my palette of colours and I would mix them and I would actually label them as well. And then if you're wondering what this is here, this is just to test whether the paint is opaque or staining. As you can see, I've been able to get that right back to white, but I haven't on here. So you need to remember that because a lot of my paintings, I put paint on and then I take paint off. And then you have a little play with what those colours are going to be like when they're all mixed together. Because sometimes you get some unhappy accidents and it is good to know what they're going to do. So for example, if you put complementary colours, which lie opposite in a colour wheel, for example, purple and yellow, if you put those together, you would get some greys, which sometimes is fantastic, but on other occasions, it's just really not what you want at all. And then I tend to do a, um, a little mini version and I do some little thumbnails first. Any techniques that you're gonna use like salt or bits of rice or granulation fluid, and I will talk about these in depth uh, on another blog. This is where I test them. So you can see I've tried a bit of salt here. I've tried some rice. I've put some granulation fluid. I've done a little bit of cling film here and just an indication of where I'm gonna use those. So I do these sheets, so as you can see, I do them all the time. If I'm going to put in a focal point, I will try out the bird here. And I put here, wrong shape, look closely at the photo. So I wasn't happy with that. Give myself a few little notes of when I come to do the real thing to try and get it right or even do another one. So I know that by the time I do the proper one on a bigger piece of paper, I know what I'm doing. I've worked it out, I've planned it. And then I, actually bind them and I keep them all together and this is a Japanese binding uh, on my online course it shows you how to actually do that it's like a little added bonus and the beauty of it is is that it can be undone and then redone so when you've got a few more extra sheets to put in you can just undo it and add them and there you've got them all in one place so that is how I plan a picture in a nutshell, not a process that I miss out very often. So if you are somebody who is setting out, then why not have a go at this? You'll save yourself a lot of time, a lot of paint, a lot of heartache. Happy painting. <laughs>